again bringing you a very special lesson part of my series of classical high life tutorial okay um, this song you just heard was the uh, very famous Ghanaian high life song called a bra by the you know amazing Nana Kwame Ampedu uh, from Ghana uh, it's it's a very very well known high life song and I believe if you want to get better in high life you need to listen to the great masters like Nana Pedu, Konimo, Dr. JC and all those you know CK man and listen to all those guys play with the songs in the original key and you know and you will really learn something each time. Uh, today I'll be going over the progressions and the various uh, chords I use uh, in that song. As you can tell, whenever you're playing with a singer or a drummer, you know, it's very different. You don't want to be playing the melody all the time. But instead, you want to be playing different chords, you know, in a kind of block style format which accompanies the high life singer, okay? Um, so let's start with the progressions. Very easy progression. It's in the key of D. Right? And as I said, always, just as she heard there, whatever key it is, I practice my Barry Harris six diminished uh, scale of chords. It really does help you and uh, I do that every time. I do it every day, you know, and uh, different combinations of it. Okay, now the progression is easy. Starts on the 4, which is a G of D, right? Then to the 1, okay? Okay. 
Now, the bass hits a two, all right? But the, um, the chords are hitting a different, a different chord, all right? So the bass, there's the bass line. Okay, so that's four, one, four, two, five, and back to one. So the chords are doing the four, one, you see, but when it gets to the two, the, the chord is just the one, okay? So again, Okay, or you can leave it at the four. Okay, let's play one more time. Four, one, four, one, five, and back to the one. Okay, again. Four, one, four, four, one, five. That's the progression in the key of D, okay? And the bass line, again. Okay, so it's set in four, one, four, two, five, five, and then one, okay? But the chords are four, one, four, four, one, five, one. Okay? So let's play it together with the chords, the bass line and the chords. As a song. So if you have a band, you as the piano player can do the chords and the bass player can do the bass line. Right? When you're doing the chords in High Life, remember the clave rhythm and uh, my video of how to play Ghanaian praises on piano. So you're doing the chords with your left hand and the right hands. Okay? So this is how it sounds. clear. Now what about the melody? Let's play the melody one time. That's in the key of D. This is the melody. Okay, again. Now you can say, why is a D and there's a C in there? In High Life, we use a lot of the dominant seven. Remember the two five one in high life. If you want the key of D, uh, E minor, the five, a um, a seven, and instead of a D major seven in high life, it's a D dominant seven. So we use the dominant seven a lot. Remember the high life scale is your major scale with the dominant seventh, right? Okay. So the melody. And 
And you can do a major seven there actually. Okay, okay. Now we can play those chords with block chords and this is how it would sound. Right? That's a D7 with a 7th on top. Again. Okay. Okay. So if we're doing the melody with black chords and the bass line, okay, that's how it would sound. Remember, the melody always goes on top. So we have a C, 